Every year I host two fan leagues. This is the first of two for this season. This one is a 14 team full PPR, $30 buy-in draft on Yahoo. Let's begin. What's going on everybody? My name's Hussein the Brain and you're watching The Couch. For the best fantasy football draft videos and advice, make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel and hit that bell icon so you won't miss anything. A lot of you watching probably do 12 team leagues where it's pretty hard to be stacked at every single position in a 12 team league, although possible in a 14 team league, however, it's nearly, like it's never gonna happen. You're never gonna be stacked at every single position. Oh wow, it's really starting. Oh boy. <laughs> First pick. Yeah. What is this? What about? This is obviously a great spot to be in a fantasy draft. Who are you, Last dude? Year, actually, the Interrupting pick me? generated the highest winning percentage of any draft slot. You certainly don't need my help. Go crush this draft. Okay, thank you. Who, whoever that was that, Andy, whatever. Three, two, one. Let's go. Yay. Bro, I thought he was auto-picking. I was about to freak out and try to replace him in the league. So, it took 44 seconds to pick C-Mac. I don't know what that was about. Like, if you are if you have the second pick in a draft, just write down your top two. If the first guy's taken, then draft the second. If the first guy's not taken, draft the first guy. Why did that need to take 44 seconds? My God. That was crazy. All right, so... Um, last year, I know I didn't get this video set up that well. I've uh, been doing a lot more Yahoo, so video should be looking decent here. And this is how the draft's been going so far. I went with Saquon, Team 2 for some reason, took a long time to pick C-Mac, Kamara, Zeke, DJ at 5, Hopkins at 6, Adam 7, Chubb 8, a little earlier than we've seen. Odell also a little earlier than we've seen at 9. James Conner at 10. A little bit of a surprise because, well, he's in a committee. Julio Jones 11. Ooh, this is interesting. Oh, I don't know what's going to happen. Oh, no. All these guys know all my rankings. They watch all my videos. They got my cheat sheets. They know who I like, who I don't like. It's usually Snipe Central, but that's okay because no matter who you are, you know, whether everyone knows what you're doing and who you like or not, you always got to be ready to pivot and counter from that pivot and zig when they zag. You got to have like 10 counter moves to be able to have a successful draft because you have a certain amount of time per pick. The pressure's on. You don't want to be making panic picks. Mike Thomas and, and Kelsey right there at the turn. Bell fell. Pick number 13. Wow. Oh, my God. Bell at 13. Am I reading that right? Wow. That guy's got Bell plus Tyreek. Dang. Whoa. That's crazy. Bell at 13. Dang, he fell. Wow, so Mike Thomas and Kelsey, two great players. But in a 14-team league, by the time it goes around, there will be not one running back that Christian will be happy with. I can guarantee that. So I'll start queuing up players in a couple picks, but this draft board's a nice, nice thing to look at there. The latest I've ever seen, Bell was 11 in all drafts and mock drafts. And keep in mind, people DM me a team several times every day. Like, hey, grade my team, grade my mock. This is a you know money league I did. This is a league I did with friends. You know, six teams. Someone sent me a 20 team today on Instagram. Like, I've never seen Bell go past 11 overall. That's crazy. And then, you know, doing a money league right now, Live, seeing him go 13. I'm just, I'm shocked, man. All right, I'm gonna start queuing up players after this pick here. 60 seconds, I feel like is perfect. Gives you enough time to think about who you're gonna pick, get ready, but it's not too boring either. Like 30 seconds is too fast for a money league. Like that's cool for a mock draft, uh, but it's way too fast uh, for a real league. Javier says unconventional draft. Like, yeah, man, totally. This is not. A type of things I see. Like I don't see carry on go that early. What is that? 18, 19, 20, 20 overall. I, I rarely see him go that early. 
not bad to get you know you need a running back there but uh yeah that's that's still very early a little surprising for carry on i love to get a top eight wide receiver but i won't i think they're all gone already yeah mike evans went yeah all the all the wide receivers are gone so i'm gonna queue up kittle i'm um, the only tight end i would consider here i'm gonna queue up david montgomery my top running back and it's really my only two picks here um, if those guys get taken I will go with the top wide receiver off the board which I believe I have Keenan that's Keenan Allen for me on my rankings how's that okay it looks a little better yeah I'm on deck. So Keenan Allen went. Let's see what this guy fix. Went with C Mac. Man, that's gonna be tough for me here. Cause I guess I, I guess I should be looking. Um I could go with Diggs or Woods. So Keenan went. Yeah, I think I'd go with Diggs. Ah, oh, got sniped. It's okay. It's okay. So let's go with David Montgomery and. I think I'm gonna go with Diggs. Just because of this Zeke situation is kind of freaky. So I'll go, let me pick my guy, David Montgomery. And then Let's go with Diggs. I had Kittle queued. So let's see who's gonna take these risky wide receivers here with lots of upside. And I'm talking about Cooper and a b man this guy is slow team two probably never used this platform this man is taking 57 seconds per pick <laughs> oh amari cooper there goes one right there and i love how i have this setup i know last year i didn't get this right but i think i think i got it right this time how i set it up recording uh, the draft grid looks good right there. You know, the players, I'm not too small, neither too big, not taking up any good real estate. We can still see which teams are coming up here. Everything's looking good. I love this draft grid right here. Get to see the colors. This is really the only way I can read the draft board. Uh, it's really the only way to do it. Color coordinated, super big. Get to see, you know, who has a tight end, who has a quarterback, so on and so forth. And I'm just gonna queue up some players right now while we're waiting. Let's queue up Mahomes. Don't really go QB early, but if he falls to round five, which is like insane, that's like round six in a 12 team league, that's just out of control. I'll take him there. Um, definitely a tight end. I'm definitely taking Mahomes or the top tight end. So I got it ranked OJ Howard, Jared Cook. Then we can go with Hunter or McDonald right there. Um, really either or like they're they're tied for me uh, my rankings Vance McDonald's one higher than Hunter Henry so I'll go with Vance then Hunter and then pretty much Hunter is tied with Njoku but I'm definitely draft I want to get a top nine tight end and I don't know I'm not really too high on Evan Ingram so yeah 
Let's see. Oh, someone's got a team. <laughs> someone's, <laughs> someone's going, dang. Dang. Better hope that Melvin gets, if Melvin gets traded to an insanely good scenario, then that team could be really good because now he's not a charger. So you got a, a charger, you got Melvin who's playing, and then you got Zeke who will probably play week one. Marlon Mack fell. That's nice. I'll take Henry. I mean, I'll take a lot of these guys. I hate Fournette, but I'll take, I mean, I'll, I'll take Fournette in round five and handcuff him with Armstead. No biggie. So, let's see. I mean, Mahomes is going to be gone. So, if, even if he's past round three, he's definitely going to go round four. There's 14 teams picking in round four. So, he's, he's going to go round four. Um, but tight end, so I'll, I'm expecting Mahomes won't be there. So, I'll draft the, the best tight end. Hopefully, I'll get a top nine. And I might not even get Evan Ingram. If he if he's the best tight end, I might wait. I don't know. That's a tough one. I'm just so torn between Evan Ingram. Just a big question mark. He could be really good. Could be a beast in PPR. Has top five, top six tight end potential in PPR. But that team is just you know big question mark. And he did really good his rookie year. Didn't really pan out for fantasy owners didn't bring back good value his sophomore year so now it's year three he can do much better we don't know there goes Mahomes so hopefully I'll be able to get Jared Cook or OJ Howard I would love that I'd be fine with Njoku um, and then I'll go get either the best running back or best wide receiver there's no way I'm pulling the trigger on a tight end at round two or 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 three right here unless it was Kittle and the big three are gone and so most people call them. I'm a little bit down on Ertz but the top three tight ends are gone just no way 100% I could get a tight end here like I, I wouldn't do it not not a chance so I just really it's a snake draft that's that's the cons of a snake draft just gotta hope that one of the tight ends I like falls. I believe one will. I say really, really good chance that one will, but you never know. This draft's going kind of weird already. <laughs> Lots of weird picks. There goes Damian Williams. There goes Derrick Henry. Running backs are pretty much gone here. Uh, Galladay I take, Cooks I take. Did Woods go already? Probably. Robert Woods went, AB went, Godwin went. Edelman went. Okay, so those are a lot of my top wide receivers. Um, Calvin Ridley. Tyler Boyd. Those are really good ones. And uh, Mike Williams. Let's see if there's any running backs. Chris Carson was just thinking about him. We'll see. I got two good running backs. And what I plan to do, because it gets really slim towards the end of these drafts, I plan to, unless there's a great opportunity for a elite kicker or elite defense later on, like extremely good opportunity, I'm probably not going to draft either one. On Yahoo, you don't need to draft a kicker. You don't need to draft a defense. And I'm going to go after guys like Chase Edmonds. Go after guys like uh, Mike Davis to handcuff Montgomery. Look, Mike Davis has virtually no value. That's how it is. Unless Montgomery gets hurt. Now, once Montgomery gets hurt, Mike Davis becomes a startable every week. He basically becomes an RB2 in that range. Because Cohen's going to get his, and his role's not going to get that much bigger. Like It'll get bigger, but he's not a three-down back. So, I'm going to handcuff... Montgomery with Mike Davis. Hopefully Mike Davis falls to round 14, 15, 16. That's where I'd like to take him. Uh, round 13, the earliest. If basically I can't find anything else, I'll go get Mike Davis round 13. It's already it's already looking so slim, guys. Like there goes Miles Sanders. I was thinking of getting him. That's pretty early for him, but I absolutely love the upside. So team some good teams here team 13 very well rounded um, team 14 
did very well considering uh, I thought he was going to be behind the eight ball and probably screw up. He did not. Mike Thomas, Kelsey, Derrick Henry, Chris Carson, not so bad. Uh, team 13, not so bad. Two good wide receivers, two good running backs. And Team 13 handcuffs Fournette with Armstead. Uh, that's a big win for him. Uh, team 12, I, I don't know how to count. Juju, Dalvin, Mahomes, Galladay, not bad. You were going to be really relying on Cook staying healthy, so you know what you got to do. Team 12, you have to handcuff Cook with Madison. You know you got to. I wish I'd had the number here. 14, 13, 12, 11. Team 10 looks pretty bad. James Connors in a committee. Mike Evans is good. Josh Jacobs is, is okay talent. Could be in a good opportunity, but that Raiders has a lot of question marks with that team. And then, team, what is this? Team nine. Not bad, team nine. I like it. Drafted carry on early, but can't hate. Now, this team's a weird team. We got a weird team right here. <laughs> Javier's team, the Wolverines. Very weird with Chubb, Ertz, A.B., Coleman. Just imagine if A.B. retires. Like, this team retires, too. Adams, Gurley, Woods, yeah. James White. James White in round four. Todd Gurley. Uh, your wide receivers are okay, but don't really like your running backs. Looks like I'm definitely getting a tight end. One, two, three teams before me doesn't have a tight end, and the fourth team does. So I'm definitely getting a top tight end. And watch this. Guarantee there will be a tight end run, especially if a lot of these players are used to, a lot of these owners are used to 12-team drafts. They're used to getting a tight end in round eight. You know, round seven, round nine. They don't know all the tight ends are gone in round five and six in a 14 team league. All Sean. All right. I got to go get my tight end. And uh, I do like Rodgers, but uh, I think I'm going to go wide receiver. So OJ Howard, I'm definitely drafting. So let's take a few seconds to see um yeah calvin ridley mike williams i gotta go with i gotta go calvin ridley and this is why i do this is why I have the word roto world pace that he is hurt is returning to practice this week good chunk of training camp all right let me draft oj howard and let's read this Really has missed a good. This is August 11th, so that's today. Let's try to train with it. Taking a cautious approach. Let all rookies. Okay, let's go. That's not so bad to get him there, right? Round five, yeah, that's not bad. They thought I was going Rodgers for some reason. Definitely uh, worth considering, but I would only take Rodgers if uh, there was no Mike Williams, no Calvin Ridley, no Galladay, you know, no Boyd. Um, there was maybe no tight ends, you know, so I'd, it'd have to be pretty slim pickings for me to take Rodgers. That's the only reason I would have be like, all right, you know, you guys took all my running backs, wide receivers, tight ends. I'll go get Rodgers. Uh, but that wasn't the case. There was a lot of options, ton of tight ends left, and I had to get my tight end here. See, if I didn't get a tight end here, there would be none on the way around because I have to wait like 28 picks, man. That's insane. That's so many picks. Here's the tight end run. It's got to start. I know this is couch fam, so not everyone can be high on Evan Ingram. There's got to be some Cook, some Hunter Henry, maybe an Njoku in here, maybe a McDonald. 
Ah, there's not a tight end run. There's a little bit of a quarterback run is what's going on. Baker, Watson. We still got Luck and Rodgers. Luck and Rodgers still there. Hey, I'm drafting them. I don't care. If they fall, I don't know. I'll go Rodgers and Luck. And let's get rid of... Let's just get rid of some of these tight ends because... I doubt I'm gonna draft any. So we have Rodgers then Luck. And I may have to settle for a quarterback here, even though I don't necessarily want to draft Kyler Murray this early. I might have to, because like, you know, we always keep saying, I always keep saying you gotta wait 26 picks. How about if Andrew Luck fell to me? That would be sweet. That would be great. There's no way these guys would let that happen. No way. Because there's so many teams that don't have a quarterback and tight end. It just wouldn't happen. It's crazy. Draft has slowed down a little bit. And it's already getting slim pickings. Like now's your time. If you want to get a good quarterback or tight end, you have to get him this round. No doubt about it. You got to get him. Now me, I don't know what I'm going to do. I, I think I'm going to have to get the best quarterback available here just because I don't want to risk waiting so long and I you know if my top 10 is gone I'm gonna be pissed like I, I want one of my top 10 my top 10 is a weird list Winston's on there Kyler Murray's on there I do want one I can definitely settle for Trubisky who's going super late you get him in the later rounds like defense it, it, almost every time I see a defense go way ahead of um trubisky the tight end run wasn't as concentrated but it is there like i thought all the good tight ends should be gone the top top eight top nine tight end should be gone by the time it's my turn so one two three four five six seven so the only two tight ends that i can somewhat count on would be njoku and Vance McDonald. This is where it gets rough. And what do people say? The mid rounds is where you make your team. And that saying isn't necessarily true, but what why it, it is true in the general in the general sense is because it's so easy to draft in the first round. We know who to pick. Even the second round is not too hard. Just pick the best player, right? But here is when you start to have to think, you know, round seven, round nine, and get those upside players that, uh, you know, draft a wide receiver three or four that can be a wide receiver one or two. You know, you have to make those type of picks or smart picks, you know, like, oh, you know, quarterback's deep, so I'm not gonna get one. And then boom, another quarterback run happens and you're screwed. Uh, that's it's just way more strategic. It's way smarter. You have to know a lot more It's easy to look at top 10 overall rankings and draft a player, you know in round one and two So that's when they say the mid rounds is where teams are made. It's not exactly true but the the overall meaning of the saying is is true. This is where um, the boys are separated from the men. The toys are separated from the real cars. The plane models are separated from the jets. <laughs> Didi got picked before AJ Green. Wow. Well, 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 Andrew Luck still available. No. And since I got time, might as well search him up. He should be he should be ready to go within a couple days. Or I mean, he sh that cow he should be good. Remain confident and optimistic. We'll be ready for week one against the Chargers. Well, that's not that great, but I don't know what's wrong with this guy's calf. Just being precautious with him, I'm sure. Ah, oh, there he goes. Dang. Wow, I just had three more picks and I could have got him. Dang. All right, now I got to really, really pick a player. Might have to go Matt Ryan here. That's tough to pass up on Matt Ryan. Or I can wait. I think I might just wait. Um, let's see who there is. I like Hendo. I like Rojo. 
Justin Jackson. Pollard. Singletary, but not here. Sterling Shepard should be ready week one or what? I think he's right on right on a target to return week one. Well before week one. Is that what it says? We'll know status for first four games of the season. We'll... Oh, that's Tate. Dang it. Dang. He may not. It's He may not play week one. Jones and Matt Ryan's the best quarterback available. I think I'd rather risk it, but not too many other players to target. I'm gonna go with Matty Ice. So let's hope that Justin Jackson and uh, Pollard fall. I got my quarterback. I really didn't want Matt Ryan, but I felt like that was great value. You got to take what the draft gives you. And who did I want? I wanted a couple players that luck was unavailable. It could have happened. I know. I know. It's tough, but like... Not a good chance, but yeah, it could have happened. It was close. And all these guys are taking like Eckler and Royce Freeman and man, who? Oh, Miles Sanders. I mean, look at Tevin Coleman went earlier, but Miles Sanders usually goes late. How many tight ends is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There goes the last good tight end. So Tony Pollard, that's what that's the mistake on these rankings. Justin Jackson is ranked fairly normal, right where about where he should be. Tony Pollard is ranked two thousand four hundred and twenty-four. So he has a higher chance of falling than Justin Jackson or really anybody else. And I don't know why I, the guy who drafted Melvin Gordon doesn't have Justin Jack. Like Latavius, cool, but I'd rather handcuff. Like if Melvin Gordon holds out and you have Justin Jackson, like you'll be okay, I feel like. So he's definitely not going to get both Justin Jackson and Tony Pollard. I can guarantee that because he only got one pick and I got two and I'm, I'm taking one of them. If they're available, if not both. Duke Johnson. Oh boy. About to get some really nice running back depth if these guys slip. Well, let me cue up some running backs and wide receivers. Shepard. 
MVS. This is usually where I queue up Westbrook. Nikhil, the real deal. This guy's so low. I can never find him. Metcalf probably will fall. How's my team looking so far? Saquon, Montgomery, Diggs, OJ Howard, Calvin Ridley, Rojo, and Matt Ryan. That's pretty well balanced. I don't know why I'm so depressed for drafting Matt Ryan. I knew it was the right choice. Or at least draft the quarterback. And that's fine. I got because I got stocks in Breeze in the throne league. I got stocks in Kyler Murray and Jameis Winston in the Instagram Experts League. And now I got a stock in Matt Ryan. So that's totally fine, and I don't have Kittle, which is cool. You know, I got Saquon in all three leagues, and I got Calvin Ridley in in two out of three. So, uninten completely unintentionally, I do have. I didn't even notice this to be honest. I do have a Matt Ryan Calvin Ridley stack. I don't believe in stacks and redraft. It's it's cool, but I never go for it. So it's not that I want to avoid them, and it's not that I want to get them in redrafts. It's a little bit more important in dynasty. And it's super important if you're trying to win a DFS tournament, but not so much in redraft. It doesn't really matter. If Matt Ryan and Calvin Ridley both are beasts, that's going to be amazing for my team. OJ Howard, I think we just need him to stay healthy. With all those other guys gone, no Deshaun Jackson, no Adam Humphreys, OJ Howard is going to have to get used quite a bit. So Diggs and Calvin really two high-end wide receiver twos more than likely kind of adds up to wide receiver one. Some uh, math that doesn't make sense, but you get what I mean. Saquon, Montgomery, Diggs, Howard, Calvin really Rojo, Matt Ryan, very well balanced team. And I just got a hit on the next few running backs and wide receivers to really make it work. I will go out my well, not go out my way, but I will go and reach a little bit to get the Bears D, but not too much. Definitely not round eight or nine. And with these guys, they seem a bit crazy. I'm sure the Bears, oh, they already got <laughs> Bears D just went. I didn't even scroll down. So upon scrolling down, we noticed that Bears D, Wentz, and MVS just got drafted. And Nikhil is gone. So I'm hoping for Met, well, uh, Justin Jackson and Pollard would be great. Bears D first pick of the eighth round. I don't know about that, man. You you really got to wait another round. When when people do that, when the Bears D goes round seven or eight, typically what I think is that they are struggling on who to pick. They're like, I don't know what's going on here. I don't like any players. I'm going to pick the Bears D. So you just you really don't know more than 100 players. And you just go pick the Bears D. And so that's kind of a double whammy. you got the Bears D now. Now you're uh, essentially a, a round behind. And you probably, since you probably didn't know who was there, you should have picked it round eight. You probably don't know who to pick it round nine. So this is typically when your team starts to crumble apart. Obviously, that's just speculation. Maybe they just really wanted the Bears D and they have a plan. They know some really good sleepers. But judging by this team, I don't know. <laughs> the first four picks panned out. And then I don't really like Lamar Miller and Tariq Cohen. I see that, okay, you got to get running back. But I don't really like those two picks. And then Larry Fitzgerald, eh. And then Bears D, no, no bueno. Okay, my pick's coming up here. And this guy just really dropped the ball here. Team four really dropped the ball by not getting any Chargers running back and any Cowboys running back. Like, this is the time to do it, man. I can't believe you drafted Latavius. Like, what are you gonna do with Latavius? That's your, is that really your RB2? Ah, oh, man, that's not, Latavius. Instead of Latavius, should have went with just some out. Like, you could have got your running back right there, your handcuff. Well, I'm just going to pull the trigger 
and get both. Pretty easy for me. I'm good on running backs. And I have plenty of trade bait. I'm down to trade Matt Ryan, down to trade Justin Jackson, down to trade Pollard. I don't want Barber. I'll take Barber from you in return. <laughs> I don't want Peyton Barber. Get out of here. <laughs> Look at these picks here. Josh Gordon, Peyton Barber. Ugh. Gross. Vomit emoji. There we go. Let them know how I feel. Get them off the game. Let's see these other teams. Team 2. Matt Breed around 7. Must have seen my tweet today. I didn't, I didn't mean that much with that tweet. I tweeted Matt Breda in a stock up emoji. Not that up, dude. Matt Breda's going like RB60. What'd you get him at? Like way... Let me see. I don't know where you got him at. Probably not 60 though. Team 5 just got Andrew Luck. Oh my god. Oh my... Mm. A 6.10. Let's queue up some more players. I got Metcalf. Not really too many wide receivers. Is uh, Jalen Samuels still? No ways. Available. No, where'd he go? Out of curiosity. Oh, he went round eight. Not too long ago. Let's see who to take. Shady's not bad. I, I never ever draft Shady, but look at. I mean, he's not much worse than Josh Gordon, Peyton Barber, James Washington, Funches. <laughs> I'm just still here reading this entire round. Yeah, he's not much worse than those guys. Bears D. Probably rather have Shady than the Bears D in a deep league like this. Yeah, it's getting to that Shady McCoy range here. He'll probably get taken before my turn. I actually probably like it if that was the case. Oh, Justice Hill was right about to queue him up. There we go, Rock Armstead. There you go, Brain. There you go, buddy. There you go. There you go, big dog. <laughs> Madison. Madison! Available, yes. Late round running backs. CJ Anderson? Could be handcuffed for uh, carry on. Um, really, no other running backs. I definitely want to get one running back here. And. Jameis. Different bye week. Hello. And Mitch Trubisky. Different bye week. Jimmy Garoppolo, different bye week. Josh Allen, different bye week. Okay. Trying to make sure my backup doesn't have the same bye week as Matt Ryan. My my would be, my potential backup quarterback. So Winston's a good pick here. Maybe even go Trubisky. I might not go quarterback at all, but just, you know, ready to pivot, right? If, if there's, I definitely want one running back. Armstead. Or Madison, some like that. Definitely want at least one. And there's really no wide receivers that are good. Wait, did oh some Metcalf went? Oh, he went like five picks ago. Dang. Madison went. Oh, Winston went. No, long distance sniped. Oh, Mr. Armstead, please stay with us. Don't leave us. Don't leave me. I'll queue up Hamilton. What else can I do? Hmm. Ty Willie? John Ross, sure, but not this early. Who do I like? Armstead? Really could use a wide receiver. I only have two. And I have 
five running backs. I love to hoard running backs, though. They took Andrews. Dang. How many tight ends is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So Delaney Walker, Goder, Hawkinson. Different bye week. Different bye week. Because if I don't get Trubisky, I mean... It's not the end of the world. No, we're not pausing. Yeah, man, I'm going to do it because uh, we got one tight end who's been hurt and a bit risky. And then we got this tight end here. I, mean, I don't really want to... But I, I really want to make sure I got wide receiver depth, but man, I got enough to start. I think I'm going to risk it here. And go with Armstead. I'll do, actually, I'm going to draft Hawkinson and then let me Google Armstead. Hope, I'm pretty sure his injury is minor, but we'll see. On the active pup list, arm says sat out mandatory minicam. What was termed as a slight hamstring injury. It was 47 days ago. Not going to help this case. Yeah. If you don't got Kelsey, you can probably use the second tight end. Just saying. There's not going to be too many tight ends on waivers. Not going to be too much of anything on waivers. Dang, Mike Davis. Oh my god, somebody really drafted him? Dang. Mike Davis, seriously? Drafted him that early? Oh, uh, man. I, I just wasn't expecting that. I thought for sure I could get him at the 12-13 turn. This would have... Man. He felt... Oh, my God. Oh, what kind of snipe is this? Sniped after I picked. It's just so weird to see Mike Davis really go before Deshaun Hamilton and Cam Newton, Dak, Lamar, all these quarterbacks, all these other tight ends. Like, I just, I mean, he goes undrafted in 12-team leagues. I thought I could get him way later. Dang. Wow, I really wanted Mike Davis. I felt like if I could get Mike Davis and somehow pull off a couple wide receivers, I felt I would feel really good about this. I have to go wide receiver, wide receiver if there's two that I like. Now, I'd be very, very, very grateful and lucky for there to be two that I like. So I can't pass up on that. I'd be lucky to have one where I'm going to be drafting next. So looking at taking a wide receiver possibly uh trubisky let's see if there's any other sleeper wide receivers i would go robert foster probably later though he's not really been Sucks with Robert Foster's. It seems like I'm going to need to get Zay Jones or John Brown would need to get hurt for him to do something. 
Oh, he's expected to make the roster. At a shaky camp. Developing receiver. That's not that long ago, too. August 6th. Okay, that sucks. Devontae Parker's gone, right? Oh. Oh, hello. How many more picks? What does they say about the Parker? Has a clean slate. Best player in camp. Oh, there's a lot of wide receivers. Um, Trubisky's still on the board. Justin Tucker is not. Okay. Hmm. Wow. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Let's go Parker ahead of Ross. Demarius at the bottom. He's just purely to fill up the IR spot. Maybe I shouldn't have went Matt Ryan. This is, these guys are falling quite a bit. Three bench and two, so I got five more picks. And I could settle for Jimmy Garoppolo, Kirk Cousins, Sam Darnold, Lamar Jackson, so I'll just wait on quarterback. Don't like. Don't need any running backs now. They took Mike Davis from me. I'm pissed about that. So, I like these three. I know I want Traquan, and that's between these two, Parker and Hamilton. So let's go with Traquan Smith. Man, I really wanted to Google him. Damn it. Should be fine. And then... Hamilton... Already Googled Devontae Parker. I'm going to go for upside here. Or should I hope Parker falls? I'm going to do it. I'm going to hope Parker falls. Drafting all my wide receivers every day. Uh, needed some wideouts. I don't know why, but I really want Devonte Parker. Uh, well, neither would have lasted. Damn it. Was this guy team four? This garbage team? Drafting Parker, huh? I got I got what you need, man. I got the Pollard. I got the Justin Jackson. You need that. You need it. And you know it. And I would like Devontae Parker in return. Please. Well, not straight up or anything. Not crazy. Oh, I was about to say hurry the Benny Snell up, but... <laughs> oh, he's... Oh, wait. He's not drafted yet. I don't know. I don't want to... Hurry the Snell up, should I say it? I'm probably not going to draft him. Benny Snell. Let's see what's up with him. Is there any running back to take? None. Kind of glad I attacked my running back because there are, is none. Look at that. Capri Bibbs. Like, what the heck, dude? It's got to be a free agent. Andre Ellington. Number four running back on the dev chart. Jaquiz Rogers. Man. Oof. 
So actually, Jarek McKinnon's a good pick because he's going to be on. He's going to have an IR designation any day now. Theo Riddick's not worth taking. Let's look at my players. Giants running back, Saquon Barkley. Bears running back, David Montgomery. Vikings wide receiver, Diggs. A Bucks tight end, Howard. Falcons wide receiver, Ridley. Bucks running back, Rojo. Falcons quarterback, Ryan. Chargers running back, Justin Jackson. Cowboys running back, Pollard. Lions tight end, Hawkinson. Jags backup running back, Armstead. Saints wide receiver, Traquan Smith. Broncos wide receiver, Deshaun Hamilton. So I'm saying the names out loud just to make sure, you know, what team they're on and if I got a bunch of players on the same team and whatnot. So I've already decided I'm not going kicker and, and defense, but oh, there goes Buck. I was like, oh, he's good. But if I had to pick a kicker, I like Gaskowski. I like Lutz. I assume Robbie Gold's been taken. Oh, where is he? Oh, is that a cheat code? Oh, there he is. I'm, I just didn't see him. Robbie Gould. All right. And defense. I don't care. I can stream. No one looks like they're going to have two defenses, so all should be fine. Miles Boykin still available. Wow. Oh, two teams don't have a quarterback yet. Quarterback is blue. Team two doesn't have a QB. Oh, man, I might be able to get Trubisky. I mean, probably not, but you never know. And Team 3 doesn't have a QB. Look, Trubisky is still there. I'm not letting him pass. If you got, I mean, I don't know what these guys are thinking, but... Yeah, two teams don't have quarterbacks yet. That's risky, man. Wow, Trubisky up falls over Trubisky. Man, Trubisky's even Big Ben. Come on, Big Ben. Come on, he's only got one wide receiver. Big Ben. Oh, but he's got Mahomes, so that's not bad. That's actually a good team here. Very good team. Okay, so 16 rounds, where I got one, two, three picks. And let's see, is the Ravens? Okay, I like the Browns D, um, Bills are okay, don't really need them. Gaskowski's cool. No running back. So Dante Foreman is like the only if Mac were to get injured. Yeah. Gus Bus just went. I guess I'll queue him up. I'm trying to see if any type of handcuff situation's available, but there's not. All of them are taken. Let's see, team two and team three do not have quarterbacks. They're crazy if they don't get a QB here. I'll, I'm gonna take Trubisky. Oh my God, 15 seconds. Randall Cobb? Oh my God. Oh, Trubisky went. Oh my God. I'm on the clock. Um, yeah, whatever. I'll punt quarterback.
Yep, don't really care about defense nor kicker. And I don't really care. I'm gonna go with. Did they go? Oh, uh, McKinnon went. Dang, I didn't even notice. He went. Yeah, a few plays, a few picks ago. Let's go with Trey Quinn. I actually don't even like any of these players. Almost got Trubisky. Wow. One pick. Dang, I wanted Trubisky so bad as a backup. That would have been sick. Dang, one pick away. Actually, I don't have to draft Amiris. I just remember that I can just add him. In Yahoo, you can just add a player to injured reserve. I just remember that. Wow. One pick away from getting Trubisky in the second to the last round. That would have been huge. Value is value. Like, I know he's my backup, but he's still going to be a beast. And I'm sure somebody would want to trade for him. Godert went late. Round 15. Nice pick. Hey, don't be mentioning anything close to my kicker, bud. Well, if I don't get this kicker, I don't know. <laughs> Please, just give me my kicker, please. Do you have a kicker? Damn it, he does not. This guy takes forever, man. He's killing me. Hey, my favorite kicker. Let's do it. Let's do some team grades. Number one overall, gotta go Saquon Barkley. People are worried with the Giants offense, but I'm not really worried. I think he's that talented to where he's going to shine. Notice people are always tough on second year players when they break out their first year. Oh, Patrick Mahomes gonna regress. Oh, Saquon, like, why are you so hard on that? And then people are so, like, for players that sucked breaking out, like, Nobody's coming up to me and telling me, though, that Saquon Barkley sucks. Like, we know the Giants suck. He can still do good. There's been good running backs on bad teams. Barry Sanders, Adrian Peterson, and one huge plus with Saquon is he can catch nine balls in one game. He can be the goal line back, receiving back. David Montgomery's climbing up the charts, and if you wait to get him round three, you may not get him. You're definitely not going to get him round four if you're in a competitive league with people that know what they were doing. Weak at wide receiver, but I think I made up for it by going with three wide receivers uh, right there in what is that round 12 13 and 14 with Traquan Smith could be the wide receiver two from the Saints Breeze is still a good quarterback Deshaun Hamilton I think he's better than Cortland Sutton Emmanuel Sanders miraculous he has been recovering quite well on pace to definitely play week one he could get re-injured but for now we have to consider him healthy still not that bad of a pick he is my wide receiver four then we have Miles Boykin a hey, if Lamar Jackson can throw the ball, Boykin can do some damage, and like I was saying earlier in the video, a 14-team league is almost never going to be perfect in every aspect, and that one aspect for me is definitely wide receiver, but I still okay, and as for running back, I got the studs, I got the depth, I got the upside with the guys like Justin Jackson and Tony Pollard, let's say both Zeke and Melvin Gordon play somehow for their respective teams i'll still be fine i still got rock armstead in case something happens a four net maybe rojo can do something i threw four darts at the rb draft board right there around six eight nine and eleven i'm sure at least one or two will hit and like i said i do have two running backs i'm starting every week anyway i don't think matt ryan offers that crazy upside as some other quarterbacks do and for that reason, I'm going to give myself a B plus. I know maybe there's some people watching that want to give me a higher grade. I don't know. Most people love giving me a bad grade and love talking trash. But I honestly would want to know your criticism, your feedback, and what grade you give me. Don't hold back. Just be honest. It's all good. 
I'm giving myself a B plus, but want to know what others think. Team two, Couch Fam since 2015. All right, that's his team name. So went C. This guy took so long to pick every pick. It was crazy. C Mac, Kittle, Cooper, Alshon, Michelle, Fuller, Brita, Hyde, Balage, Ty Willie, Mike Davis. Ah, I got him for me. Uh, Darren Waller, Zay Jones, Mitchell Trubisky. What a what a Man, that saves your team right there, dude. Like, seriously, you got Mitchell Trubisky round 14. That's nuts. Broncos D and Andre Ellington, which is a weird pick. Um, man, this is a this is a weird one because I don't like your running back after C Mac. I got Kamara over C Mac, but let's not you know be splitting hairs here. I have an open mind. After that, though, it kind of fell off because Sony Michelle's knees, Matt Breida's the third running back, should be used, and McKinnon just can't stay healthy. Hyde is the number two RB on the Chiefs, but I don't think that'll last long. He can't even stay on one team for an entire year. Kalen Balazs actually in round nine, that's actually great value. And Mike Davis, I, I can't believe you could be so mean and cold blooded. Overall, look, look, I pretty much don't like this team except for that Mitchell Trubisky pick. That absolutely saved it. And Cooper, a lot of question marks there with the Zeke holdout, so I don't know about that. Look, if it wasn't for Trubisky, I would give this a terrible, terrible grade. But you saved it with him. What a clutch performance. You got a little bit. You need a little bit of luck. And you thankfully took him at round 14. I think you knew that there was a good chance I was going to take him. And I definitely would have. What a great backup quarterback. That would have really completed my team. I think I would have gave myself an A- minus just because it was such a great value pick if he somehow fell to me. I'm going to give you a grade C. Team 3. Alvin Kamara, Thielen, Edelman, Lockett, Eckler, Daryl Hendo, Marv Jones, Darwin Thompson, Flash Gordon, Sanu, what? Delaney Walker, okay, could be worse. And then you went with Los Angeles defense. Ah, I hate Yahoo, they don't even tell you which defense is which. <laughs> okay, I just looked it up. It's the Rams D, and then you went with the Rams kicker, Greg Zerline. Could it be a Rams fan? I don't know. Randall Cobb, Kirk Cousins is your only quarterback, and Noah Fant. So a little bit wishy-washy with the tight ends. Delaney Walker is a stud, but he's getting old. He's 34, just came off a pretty nasty injury where he's going to likely be rusty for the first couple weeks. And then you got Noah Fant, who's an amazing talent, but could be a huge bust this year. And bust is a harsh word because we don't necessarily draft him as a tight end one. And look, he was in this last round. That's where he went. Uh, man, not really liking this team. Josh Gordon was just, just don't do that, guys. Don't draft Josh Gordon there because I get it. You're high on Daryl Henderson. That could not pan out, and I'm not hating on that pick, but okay, I get it. Austin Eckler, great pick, but how about if Melvin Gordon plays? Darwin Thompson might be nothing. So right there, how could you not draft Devin Singletary or... Uh, mad at, like you could have took another shot at a player that's actually playing um, anybody really and I don't hate on the Josh Gordon pick too much if it was five rounds later you know instead of drafting the Rams maybe you take Josh Gordon there which is still like to me is still a bit crazy but that spot I mean come on dude round nine Josh Gordon what the heck dude like I mean, he didn't even ball out last year when he played. And now this year, he's not playing. So he really can't ball out. And I don't know in Yahoo, even if they allow you to put a suspended player on your IR spot. If they do, that's a small plus for you. If they don't, that's a huge, huge minus for you, man. So other than Kamara and Edelman, I absolutely hate this team. It makes me sick. Man, this this is a terrible team, man. I, I am not feeling it. Tight ends, question mark. Quarterback, what do you think? I mean, instead of drafting a defense, take a quarterback. Josh Gordon? Like, you're really asking for it, dude. Um, I don't want to die. I'm not going to give it an F because if something's happened and you get lucky, Kirk Cousins can still do some things. You still somehow can make playoffs. I doubt it. 
but there's still I still see a road for you to be able to do something. And an F, if I give an F, that means you absolutely cannot do anything. I'm gonna give this just a straight grade D. Team four, we got Zeke, Keenan, Melvin Gordon, Philip Lindsay, Jarvis Landry, Latavius, David Njoku, Deshaun Jackson, Peyton Barber, Jared Goff, Ido Smith, Paris Campbell, Devontae Parker, Gus Edwards, Patriots D, Jake Elliott. Don't like this team. You got team holdout. I could give this a great H for holdout. You got Zeke, Melvin Gordon, two holdouts right there. I expect Zeke to play. But here's your real, I got an open mind. Here's your real, real knock, man. And boys and girls at home watching this video, learn from this team. If you do something like that, go get you a Tony Pollard or Justin Jackson or Eckler. At least try your best to. Oh, you know, he, he tried and he could No, no, no. Jarvis Landry, Latavius. Look, and Joku's cool there. But you go Jar yeah, Lindsey. Jarvis, Latavius. Yeah, you went to Sean Jackson actually before. So you go DJ and Joku, Latavius, Jarvis, and Lindsey. You went those, you prioritize that over getting a cuff. Those picks are really not worth it. I really only like Njoku. And then you drafted Njoku and Jarvis. A little bit weird for my taste. I I really don't get that, man. Like you really should have got the cuffs. Because that way you would have covered yourself in an early draft like this. I feel like it's so important. I think uh, the ongoing theme with some owners is they're more used to 12-team leagues. So it would have felt weird to go get Justin Jackson or Pollard that early. But it would have definitely been well worth it. And I thought it would have saved it. You would have bought a small little insurance policy. Not the best insurance policy for your Zeke and Melvin Gordon picks. But still a decent one. If Zeke and Melvin Gordon both play... Hey man, I love this team. I think Melvin Gordon's holdout is much more serious. I expect Zeke to play week one, but that's just speculation from my end. Of course, I could definitely be wrong. And Melvin Gordon, if I had to guess, I would say he's not going to play this year because I don't see a team trading for him either. Chargers should not pay. They offered him 10 mil already. So unless he caves in, I don't see him playing at all. I don't see why any team would offer this guy 12.3 million a year, which is probably what's needed to be done. He's asking for 13 million a year. Which team would want to do that? The only realistic scenario I see Melvin Gordon playing is if a team suffers some serious running back injuries and they know they have a shot at the Super Bowl. This could be the Chargers too. If Eckler gets hurt or maybe Justin Jackson gets hurt, another player, maybe they do cave in and sign Melvin Gordon or another team would have to have some serious running back injuries. So upside is definitely there. Strategy is horrible. I don't like this team. I'm going to give this the same grade, grade D. Team five, DJ, Hilton, Devontae Freeman, DJ Moore, Evan Ingram, Luck, Jordan Howard, Jalen Samuels, James Washington, Crowder, Debo, Gio Bernard, Jordan Reed, Philip Rivers, Cami Fairbairn, and Eagles D. There's some picks that I don't agree with, but you got Andrew Luck that late, which is just insane. That is round six. He almost fell to me. So you got him at, what is that, 6.9 or 10? It's 14, 13, 12, 11, 6.10. Insanely late in a 14 team league. Like that is so late. Even Will, like all these quarterbacks went before him. So for that, I'm going to give you a huge bonus. DJ was good there. Hilton, I get it. Got to go get a wide receiver. Not big on Devontae Freeman, but you got yourself a running back. You thought he was the best running back. I would have probably rather went Mac. Maybe even Jacobs there. DJ Moore, high upside pick if Cam Newton's healthy. Evan Ingram, not my favorite tight end. You reach for him a little bit. So you reach for Evan Ingram a little bit. I don't like that. But he's still a top nine tight end. And then, you know, a tight end you can start every week. Then you get Andrew Luck who fell in your lap. So you made up for more than made up for it. Jordan Howard, so-so. Jalen Samuels, pretty good pick. I don't like the James Washington pick. I'm going to give Team 5 a B. Team 6, Hopkins, Aaron Jones, Mack, Mark Ingram, Mike Williams, Russell Wilson, Dante Pettis, Austin Hooper, Devin Funches, Naheem Hines, John Brown, Hollywood Brown, Ravens D, Alfred Morris, Isabella, Kinsey Anunwa. Wow, a lot of 
wide receivers. He threw a lot of darts, but none of them hit. I love the first five, six picks. Look, Hopkins, great pick. Aaron Jones, Mack, Mark Ingram, Mike Williams. I love that. And then you passed up on Luck because he has a very minor calf injury. Like, who cares? Even if they're lying about it, like, it's worth taking that risk because we don't know. Maybe they're lying. Maybe they're not. It's worth taking that risk. Oh, man. You could have had Andrew Luck there and you were regretting it too in the chat. And I don't know how you didn't take Andrew Luck and you took Wilson, but I love those first five picks. Then you went with Pettis, who's reported and maybe not even start. Look, I think he's going to start, but this is why I avoid a lot of Niner wide receivers, man. Like, you shouldn't have did that. Um... That's just bad, dude. Like, you shouldn't take Dante Pettis that early. He's not guaranteed, even if he starts, he's not guaranteed to be the best wide receiver on that team. Austin Hooper, not a big fan. He should have took the tight end there. Maybe you would have been able to get one. Would Yeah, um... Actually, no. You, you sh I think Njoku went right before you. I like the first five picks, and I'm a fan of Russell Wilson. Just definitely don't have him ahead of Andrew Luck is all. And I don't really like the, the last picks. I like the Ravens D, but everything else is not really that big of a deal. Yeah, not, not a big fan of these wide receivers. I don't think any will really pan out. And Pettis might, but you, you took him kind of early is the thing. So if you took Andrew Luck, I would have gave this a B plus, but you did not. I'm going to give it a straight grade B. Team 7, Adams, Gurley, Woods, James White, Watson, AJ Green, Sammy Watkins, Eric Ebron, QD, Anthony Miller, Chris Thompson, Jalen Richard, Vikings D, Will Lutz, Jimmy Garoppolo, and Tyler Eifert. Um, not big on Gurley. Then you draft another Rams receiver. Like, this team's just okay. You did get A.J. Green late, so I like that. Eric Ebron's due to regress. This obsession with Anthony Miller, I just don't get. Taylor Gabriel should be better. Definitely Anthony Miller can pass him up, but I don't get why Anthony Miller's put on a pedestal and Taylor Gabriel goes undrafted every single time by everybody. It makes no sense to me. At least it should be more even, right? Anthony Miller's up here. Taylor Gabriel's down here. It should be at least closer is all I'm saying. Like, this guy's way overhyped. Well, Taylor Gabriel's way, way overlooked. He's going undrafted every single draft. I'm worried about your running backs. Wide receivers looking good. Quarterbacks okay. Even though Eric Ebron's going to regress, he's probably not going to be complete garbage. I'm going to give this a grade B-. minus. Team 8. Chubb, Ertz, AB, Tevin Coleman, Baker, D.D. Westbrook, Deion Lewis, Cortland Sutton, Kyle Rudolph, Jags D, way too early, C.J. Anderson, Justin Tucker, Nick Foles, Adam Humphreys, Dante Foreman, and Tom Brady. Man, Jags D hurts right there. Justin Tucker, so early. Zach Ertz, too early. A.B., slightly early. What if he doesn't get the helmet he wants? What are you going to do there? Tevin Coleman could be in a little bit of a committee. Went with Baker slightly early. Oh, boy. D.D. Westbrook, I've never, ever seen him go that early in my life. Oh, my God. So, your running backs aren't too bad, but if A.B., What's the right word? He's not holding out. If AB pouts, I don't know what's the right word, or retires, your team is completely screwed. And I see some regression coming with Zach Ertz either this year or next year. Could be this year. Not a big fan of this team, man. It's really, really reliant on Antonio Brown. And if I had to bet my last dollar on AB, I would not like that. I'd be scared. And that's what this team's rolling with, man. It's going... It's going down with AB. And if AB balls out and plays week one, then this team is solid. If not, this team is donezo. I'm going to give this a grade C. Team 9, Odell, Carry On, Godwin, Miles Sanders, Christian Kirk, Vance McDonald, Kyler Murray, Curtis Samuel, Dante Moncrief, Madison, Chase Edmonds, Brian Hill, Albert Wilson, Lamar Jackson, Dallas Godert. David Moore. I like those last three picks right there. Those are pretty good last three picks. And can't hate on the first few picks. I like the risk you took, 
And I actually really like this team, man. You got some value, you got some risk, you got some nice overall players invested in a quarterback, you invested in a tight end, you went pretty balanced uh, in the beginning with running backs and wide receivers, you got Madison, you got Edmonds, you got Brian Hill, not a fan of him, but I get what you're doing and I like the approach. Look, this team makes sense. Team Fantasy Futod, I like it. Not the best running backs, but you have great wide receivers. So I'm gonna give this a grade B plus. Team 10, Connor, Evans, Jacobs, Boyd, Drake, Penny, Duke, Geronimo, Mark Andrews, Winston, Jamal Williams, Kenny Stills, Benny Snell Jr., Josh Allen, Cowboys D, and Adam Vinatieri. Fatal mistake going with Connor in the first round. Don't ever do that. He's in a committee. Mike Evans is cool. Josh Jacobs is cool. Tyler Boyd is cool. Then you went with Drake. So-so. Penny is cool. Duke Johnson, a bit of a reach. A bit crazy. Can't hate on it too much, though. This is full PPR, so I like him. Just round seven, though. It's just a bit, bit, bit nuts, right? I, I don't know. Is that just me? I feel like he, he should be drafted round nine. At least round eight. Like, at least at the earliest. I don't know. It just It just feels weird. With that being said, you still didn't end up with a completely horrible team. You somehow made it out alive. I'm going to give this a grade B minus slash c plus like right right in between a b minus and c plus just that james connor is pushing more towards the c plus team 11 falcoholic surprise surprise went with julio first round then mixon damian williams cooper cup a rod a rob geis corey davis golden tate shady mccoy trey burden ap Greg Olson, Texans D, Rex Burkhead, Mason Crosby. First few picks, not so bad. The tight end sweepstakes, I'm afraid you missed out on it. And I know even you don't feel like Greg Olson's going to stay healthy. Otherwise, you probably would have took him over Trey Burden. Greg Olson's realistically one injury away from being a poor commentator like Jason Witten. Not a good squad right there. because Just because of the tight end, though, like... Um, I got an open mind about Cooper Cup and all these other picks. So he started out good. I think he should have went with a tight end, though, maybe around where you were taking Corey Davis or guys. Eh, just what I think. Other than that, you did do pretty well. And I don't even think Mason Crosby's a top five kicker. Like, Robbie Gould's better than him. I don't know why he didn't take Robbie Gould. I'm going to give this a grade B-. minus. If you had that really good top eight tight end, I think this would easily be a B plus. Team 12, Juju, Dalvin, Patrick Mahomes, Galladay, Jared Cook, Royce Freeman, Nikhil Harry, MVS, Devin Singletary, Emmanuel Sanders, Miko Hardman, Chris Herndon, Big Ben, Jarek McKinnon, Quadri Allison, and Saints D. I think this team knocked it out the park, man. Uh, the only... Bad thing is you couldn't get Madison, and if you took Singletary before Madison went, yeah, you did. That's kind of a flaw, man. You went Singletary and Sanders when you really needed to go Madison right there. You could have took him even earlier, like where you got Singletary, but he was still available where you got Sanders. I, I just don't get the thinking there. How could you not take Madison? I was honestly thinking like this team could get a higher grade than mine or around the same, but not taking Madison is a huge hole because look, your other running backs could pan out, but probably not. It's going to be pretty reliant on Dalvin Cook. And if he gets hurt yet again, like he does every single year, it's over. It's done. And I just, I mean, I don't want to throw in the towel because of one player. And that's why if you had Madison, you wouldn't have to do that. If Dalvin Cook gets hurt, you will have to throw in the towel and you will lose. So just because of that one fatal mistake, Devin Singletary, Sanders, and you didn't get Madison uh, must handcuff pretty much if you draft Dalvin Cook. In my opinion, I'm going to give you a B minus. You could have easily got a B plus, maybe even an A minus. Like this team is really, really good, dude. So B minus for Team 12. Team 13, Le'Veon Bell fell so late. Then we got Tyreek Hill, killer team, Leonard Fournette. Not a bad pick, but you did not get Armstead. You got mad because I got Armstead. Like, it was a personal vendetta. It was not. I don't really, didn't really care about your team. I was just trying to draft the best players for me, for me to win, for my team. 
That's what I did. Uh, then you went Brandon Cooks, Robbie A, Hunter Henry. This is pretty dang good team. And the Sterling Shepard, that's a good team. Carson Wentz, I'm not big on, but hey, it is what it is. Damian Harris, Justice Hill, good picks. Cam Newton, not big on that either. So a little bit risky there with Cam and Wentz. Usually when I draft a quarterback who's always hurt or is risky, I like to balance them with someone who's not. But I've done it with Kyler and Jameis Winston, I suppose. Both are pretty risky, kind of unproven quarterbacks. Malcolm Brown... Then we have the Chargers D, Nelson Aguilar, Ted Ginn Jr., Stefan Guskowski. Very good team. That's really my only knocks is you got two risky quarterbacks that I personally don't like, but they're still good, or at least others think they're good. Like They can still perform quite well. Both are startable every week, um, or should be if Cam Newton's healthy, and you'll be starting Carson Wentz uh, week one and, and for the next few weeks and seeing how Cam does. You got Cam quite late. So, really, that's the only knock. I don't like your quarterbacks. They're okay. And you didn't handcuff Fournette. I didn't like that. Overall, still really good team. Pretty much perfect draft for Team 13, except I personally don't like the quarterbacks. They could still perform well. Other experts, other rankings do like these quarterbacks. You'll be starting Wentz early on and seeing how Cam does. So, can't dock you too much for that. But the Armstead thing, I would dock you because, man, you got you to gotta handcuff Fournette. I'm going to give this a grade B. Team 14 started out risky taking a wide receiver, Thomas, then a tight end, Kelsey. And I was like, I don't know about this, man. Are you going to have any running backs left? And you did. You were so fortunate to get Henry, Carson, Lamar Miller, Cohen. Then you went Larry Fitz, Bears D, too early. Drew Brees, DK Metcalf, Gallup, Kareem Hunt. Harrison Butker, Dak Prescott, Jack Doyle, and then you went with John Ross. I love that pick at the very end. You got a top three wide receiver or top five, however you see it. Most people would say top three. You have the best tight end right now in fantasy, and you're fortunate enough to get Derrick Henry, who should be fully healed up. He has a leg injury or a foot injury. Chris Carson, number one running back for the Seahawks. They should run the ball a lot. Then I don't really agree with Lamar Miller and Cohen, but I see what you're trying to do. I still would have just went with the best player there, whether it been a quarterback or more like a wide receiver. I think you would have got better value taking one wide receiver and maybe one running back there. That probably would have been best. You actually made out okay in the running back department. You definitely made out okay on defense. Definitely made it okay on kicker. And quarterback's pretty good with Breeze. Tight end is, is solid. And it's just a little funny that you went Mike Thomas and couldn't really make out well with wide receivers. You're really going to be hoping a guy like DK Metcalf does well or Larry Fitzgerald has a resurgence. Even though a resurgence is likely, they're going to be spreading the ball a lot with those four wide receiver sets in Arizona. So he's just not a consistent must start every week. That's just not how I see Larry Fitzgerald. Even though you started out crazy, man, with a no running back the first two picks, you still panned out well with a decent team. And I don't, look, I don't, I would not recommend going Kelsey right there and wide receiver. I would not recommend getting the Bears Z early, but somehow you did make it work. The only position you're lacking is a position that's the easiest to make up. Not saying that you're going to be able to make up for it on waivers or anything, but it is the easiest, and that's wide receiver. And you will have two wide receivers to start just about every week. So you're not completely dead uh, when it comes to wide receivers. You still have Mike Thomas. As long as he's healthy, you should be fine. I'm going to give this a grade B. My final assessment is that it's a very close league. There was no A's I don't think I gave and no F's that I gave. And even when I gave D's, um, like team, team holdout, what is that, team four, they still can do some damage if those two players don't hold out. They will have a really good team. The rest of their draft wasn't perfect, but I mean, you got Zeke, you got Melvin Gordon, you definitely got a shot at winning the Super Bowl. It was a fun draft, it was super competitive. Let me know if you guys liked it. Let me know who you think had the best team, if you agree with my grades or not, who had the worst team. Leave a comment below. Make sure you guys subscribe to this YouTube channel by hitting the couch icon over here. We also have a second YouTube channel with special gets and a lot of great fantasy content on there, so subscribe to that one as well. If you enjoyed this video hit it with a thumbs up if you didn't thumbs down that's still cool i appreciate you watching and i'll catch you on the next video slash live stream slash podcast